Hey you guys, and in this art lesson, we're going to be drawing a panda. I have a special guest with me today. What's your name? Hey, my name's Holden. He, he's Holden, and if you remember from my um, previous, previous videos, um, I've had his older brother Nolan on YouTube, and he wanted to be a part of it. So we're welcoming him to Creator Sync with a fun drawing on how to draw a panda. You're gonna be needing a blank white sheet of paper, a Sharpie to draw with, or a pencil, whatever you have at home, and you're gonna need some coloring supplies. We're gonna be using colored pencils and markers, so we're gonna get started. All right, Holden, you ready to get started? Yes. The first step to drawing our panda is we're going to give him an, two eyes. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna draw one circle here circle here. Good. Now I'm going to draw a smaller circle inside of those. Good job. Now I'm going to just gonna get that and I'm going to go right here and I'm going to draw another smaller circle in those and then I'm going to color everything else besides that circle in black. And it should look like this. There we go. You got that? Yeah. Good job. Now I'm going to give him, um, uh, pandas usually have black around their eyes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw two ovals. So first draw one oval around his eye and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other eye. Later in the drawing we're gonna color this in black. All right. Next we're gonna give him a nose and a mouth. We're gonna give him a, tri a triangle nose and it kind of has curved points. Good job, Holden. And now we can color that in black. And I'm just leaving a white spot there for a little reflection. But you don't have to. You can color it all in black. There you go. And now we're going to draw a W. So you know what a W looks like? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna draw like a curved W. So it's kind of like one, two kind of looks like an upside down three or two U's, whatever you want to think of it as. Aw, it looks so cute. And you could bring that up a little higher if you wanted. There you go. All right, now we're going to draw a circle around him for his head. I'm gonna go right here and we're just gonna draw a big circle right here for his head. Aw, it looks so cute. Now, we're gonna give him ears. I'm gonna go one, two. Oh, <laughs> you know what comes after one. <laughs> All right. And just like I said for these ovals, later we'll color these in black. Now let's get on to his body. I'm gonna go right here, and we're gonna go down, down. And we're gonna make sure that these are about the same length. Good job. Now I'm going to go right here and I'm going to curve that in for one arm. Can you kind of see how that looks like an arm? Yeah. So curve that in. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side so we can curve it in a little bit and go back out. Good job. It's really starting to look like a panda, huh? Yeah. All right, now we can add his big feet. I'm gonna draw an oval right here because his feet are gonna be sticking out. You'll see what it will look like later. Good job. Let's add another one over here. All right, good. Now we're gonna go, I'm gonna say right about here, we can make a little point. I'm gonna draw one in. Can you kind of see how that looks like his feet sticking out? And then we can do that on the other side. 
Christmas. So just sort of connect it into his arm. Bring this home. Oh, you're gonna bring this home? Yeah. All right, now let's give him some little paws. You know how animals have those like, yeah. little paws? I'm gonna draw three circles right here and one big circle here. So three on the top and then one big circle at the bottom. That looks cute. And then we're gonna give him exact same over here. There we go. And then later we'll color those in pink. All right, now we can go ahead and finish him off. I'm just gonna connect these two and then I'm just gonna connect it all together. Now it looks like a cute little panda sitting down. Yep, you can just connect it right there. Aw, doesn't he look cute? Yeah. He looks super cute. And I'm real quick going to connect these up. I'm gonna connect these lines into this. Can I do head. that? Yeah, you can do that. Does it ever bleed through the paper? And then I'm going to go right here. This is gonna be his little white belly. Nice. All right, and I think that it's safe to sit here. If you, I'm gonna give my panda. I know that was like a about, little more detail. Uh huh. I was like, pandas have two things like that. Mhm. Mm two rainbows and rainbows. Good job. I've done this with different animals because sometimes I draw one. Like one time I did it with a lemur. Pan well, I've drawn a, a different kind of panda. It didn't really look like a normal panda. It was like <laughs> a rainbow panda. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I think your panda looks really good, but we still have to do one more thing. What is that? Color it in. Color it in. Could, you, could you put the cap on my pencil? Because, um, yeah, my hands are sweaty. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, yeah, I got no on my hands. <laughs> All right, we're really not going to need very much color. We're just going to use black. And we're gonna color in its paw prints pink. So all you really need is Two black colors. and pink. Yeah. And then if you wanna add a background, then you can get some more colors. But for us, we're just using black and pink. So let's get coloring. Okay, so we finished coloring our pandas, but Holden had a great idea on how to draw bamboo. Bamboo, because pandas love bamboo. So, where would you like the pan? The uh, I almost said pamboo. <laughs> bamboo. Where would you um, like? I like some like over there. Um, so, like growing out of the ground. Yeah. All right, let's do it. So, I'm gonna go right here. Drawing up. Do you want like that tall? Yeah. And bamboo is kind of skinny, so I'm going to go right here, just draw a line down. Or you can do it up, yeah, whatever works. Then I'm going to connect it with kind of a curved line out. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And now um, I'm going to add some lines um, like this. So I'm going to go... Every few spaces, I'm going to add a curved line just like we did there. I'm kind of curving it up a little bit. That way it looks three-dimensional. Or you can just have it be straight. Whatever you like. So there we go. And then um, how many do you think maybe we could do like two over here, one on this side since there isn't a lot of room over there? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. And bamboo has a few leaves sprouting out, so we can go up here. Draw a line down, go up here, draw a line down. That's just for the leaves. Go up, and then bring it back down. Good job! And I'm gonna add uh, some more, so I'm gonna curve it up, go back down, curve it up, go back down. I did three. You did three? Nice. All right, and then um, I'm gonna add one more over here, but it's going, should it be taller or should it be shorter? Mm. Taller. Taller. 
we'll make a and if you don't have enough room over there you can just add one over there if you want that's a, that's a really tall bamboo pillow so I'm basically just repeating the steps that we just did for this one and you guys at home can add however many bamboo sticks that you would like maybe Maybe it could be raining bamboo sticks. That'd be funny. So I'm adding some here. There we go. And maybe I'll add one more up here. Nice. I like it. Good suggestion, Holden. I'll do what you're doing. I'll add one over here. There we go, and almost done. Just have to add some leaves and then color it in. Green. Yes, we should definitely color it in some green. All right, this looks like a... Could you hand me one, baby? Yeah. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go to fast motion one more time, but then our pandas will be done. And here we have our finished pandas. They look so cute. Yours look super cute. And our bamboo plants were a great suggestion. We hope that you guys had fun following along in this art lesson. You can pause the video right now to match me and hold in the same coloring. Or you can color it your own way. You could add a background. You could maybe add more pandas. Or you could even draw this as a mama panda and a baby panda for Mother's Day. And uh, we hope that you guys had fun following along. I also forgot to mention that I um, used a white colored pencil to add in some highlights um, on the panda. So if you would like to do the same, I used Prismacolor. It's PC938. And um, we used a whole bunch of markers for this, um, mostly greens and mostly pinks and um, you know, some thick black Sharpies. And uh, yeah, so that's it for today's video. We hope that you guys had fun following along and we'll see you next time on Creators Inc. Bye.